I welcome you all for this course. Today we will see the next topic that is Snyderman's 8 Golden Rules of Interface Design. Myself, Alok Kumar, I am Assistant Professor in Government College of Engineering, Dharmapuri. So in second minute we will see next topic that is Snyderman's 8 Golden Rules. So here we will see means uh, whatever design rules given by Snyderman's, uh, we say that one as 8 Golden Rules. So here first one we will see that is first golden rule is strive for consistency. So consistent sequence of action should be required in similar situation. Identical terminology should be used in prompts, menu and help screens and consistent commands should be employed throughout. The second golden rule is enable frequent users to use shortcuts as the frequency of use increases so do the users desires to reduce the number of interaction and to increase the pace of interaction abbreviations function keys hidden commands and macro facilities are very helpful to an expert user the third golden rule that is offer informative feedback for every operator action, there should be some system feedback. For frequent and minor actions, the response can be modest, while for infrequent and major actions, the response should be more substantial. Now we will see the fourth golden rule that is design dialogue to yield closer. Sequences of actions should be organized into groups with a beginning, a middle and end. The informative feedback at the completion of a group of actions give the operators the satisfaction of accomplishment, a sense of relief, the signal to drop contingency plans and options from their minds, and an indication that the way is clear to prepare for the next group of actions. The next one is offer simple error handling. As much as possible, design the system so the user cannot make a serious error. If an error, if an error is made, the system should be able to detect the error and offer simple comprehensible mechanism for handling the error. The next rule is that is permit easy reversal of actions. This feature reveals relieves anxiety since the user knows that errors can be undone. It thus encourages exploration of unfamiliar options. The units of reversibility may be a single action, a data entry or a complete group of actions. The next that is uh, seventh is support internal locus of control. So experienced operators strongly desire the sense that they are in, in charge of the system and that the system responds to their actions. Design the system to make users the initiators of actions rather than the responders. The last that is eighth golden rule that is reduce short term memory load. The limitation of human information processing in the short term memory requires that displays be kept simple. Multiple phase displays be consolidated windows motion frequency be reduced and sufficient training time be allotted for codes mnemonics and sequence of actions so all these are the principles that is given by Snyderman's that are the eight golden rules for interface design so in next lecture we will see the next topic thank you